Welcome back to Scattered. Today we're going over part two of our DIY air filtration system. We're going to go over a few key points, how, it li how I liked it, how it turned out, and if I do it again. To start off, I'm going to get right to the point. It worked great. We ran it for probably five nights. I run it for an hour before bed, sometimes just in the house during the day. After I saw it work so good, I seemed to run it all the time, every chance I got in every room of the house. But overall, we woke up in the morning, no more congestion. Um, I had less headaches and stuff like that throughout the day. You just walk into the room and it, it smelled cleaner. It really, really could not be happier with how it turned out. I also, one night during the experiment, did not use it just to see how it would work and it was a dramatic difference. I woke up in the morning, sinus pressure was back, just had a, like a sore, raw throat and nose. Um, I was, I could not be more happy. I was very, very impressed with how it worked. Stay tuned to the end of the video for a cute puppy update from part one. Second key point is it was loud. It was, I mean, this was just an experiment and it was, it was loud. Uh, it was hard to sleep with it, so usually we'd run it up until we'd go to sleep and then shut it off. I even would run the ceiling fan to help circulate more air through it, but it was definitely, definitely for me, too noisy to sleep with. I imagine the purpose-built air filtration units for in your house are much quieter um, for that reason. But overall, uh, overall it was definitely worth it. Key point three, it was inexpensive, but there were very, very valuable results. I mean, all in all, I have 20, $28 in this between the fan and the filter. I know you could probably get better filters or even cheaper filters, but this one did quite a bit. Dust mites, um, bacteria, all that sort of thing. The fan works fine. I'm sure it'll be around for decades as these old box fans usually are. All in all, just can't beat what it, the results that it produced for the price. In conclusion, I'm gonna do further testing with it. I'm gonna keep running it in different areas of the house, in bed right before we go to sleep, and see if the results continue just to make sure it wasn't some other odd factor. I really think that it will help the quality of the indoor air in the house. I would like to try, I've seen on another source on YouTube. A person tried um, four filters and the fan pointing straight up, kind of like this. So it would draw air from more angles. Uh, might try and build something like that if uh, we think that we could use a little more if this isn't doing enough. I'm also curious to see how long the filter lasts. I can already see some dog hair stuck in it. As you know from the first video, we do have dogs in the house, beagles and a pointer. Um, so there's a never-ending supply of fresh hair. So that is hair, not air. I will, I'm gonna keep running this until I figure out a unit that is commercially available that would suit us well. Um, I know they're expensive, they're several hundred dollars. This one was so cheap that it was like easy pull the trigger but I think I'm gonna do a little more research. We have a small house right now, but in a few years we'll be building a larger house, so I don't wanna buy a unit now that won't then work in that one without spending too much money right now for just a little place. So we'll see, maybe we'll end up just running this until we have the bigger house and spending the money then. But I am overall just very, very happy with this. I couldn't, uh, I couldn't be more happy. That's that's pretty much how it runs into. I was very, very surprised. I didn't think it was gonna work as well as it did, but it just blew me out of the water. Um, it's great. I, I would I would uh, de definitely recommend that you try this in your own home. If you don't have an air filtration system, again, we have a hot water boiler for our heat, so we don't have a air duct system with a filter already on it circulating and cleaning the air. If you have one of those, then this probably wouldn't gain you a whole lot. Um, but for anybody that has a boiler system, this could definitely help big time. 
Um, just a little disclaimer, uh, is, uh, obviously be, be careful, could be a fire hazard, you know, you never know, don't want, don't want to put it somewhere dangerous, um, make sure the fan's always off whenever, before you plug it in and unplug it so you don't have any sparks, um, but overall, yeah, just, just try it out, see how it works, just be careful. As promised, here's your puppy update. <laughs> We only have three left. The other uh, four have gone to find their homes. Oh, this is little Lacey. We're keeping her. We have Lacey, Trip, and Ice. They'll be going to their homes maybe in the next couple weeks. Except for Lacey. She's staying here. Yeah, good girl. Oh, it is kind of ugly. Maybe we'll dress it up with some white duct tape. That always makes it better. Anyways, if you liked today's video, be sure to thumbs up, like, and subscribe. And if you have the time, please leave a comment. If you have any questions, leave a comment. If you have any additions or better ideas, things I could do better or uh, maybe safer or just uh, more effective, please leave a comment and we'll get back to you. See you guys in the next video. Thanks.